frost advisory late tonight to tomorrow morning for the southern tier in Pennsylvania. Those temperatures will be on the up and up. I know I keep saying it, but it really will. I'll show you what that looks like in the seven day. But let's look at what's going on right now in the Almanac. We're still below normal, 72. Yesterday it was 71, so we continue to be on the up and up even with those normal temperatures. But 66 is where we made it. 43, a whole 10 degrees yesterday. It was chilly. 91 in 2006. Nowhere near there, but the temperatures all around western New York, you're seeing in the upper 50s to mid 60s. And we'll continue to see some of that warming up. Now let's see where we've been seeing the warming up. It was quite chilly yesterday in the southern tier. We saw all that rain. It's finally moved out. I'll show you what that looks like in 7 Super Doppler. 13 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. Only 6 and 7 in Buffalo and Niagara Falls. But like I said, you'll notice a warming trend. Turn your attention to the pollen forecast because we did see some of that rain. It's ramping things up for you. So if your allergies have been acting up, it's the trees and then the grass. The trees are starting to die down, but the grass is now on the heels of that and it's going to make allergies a bit uh, crazy out there. Now taking a look at 7 Super Doppler. Those showers we saw yesterday just sitting over the New York Pennsylvania line finally gone. Now you're seeing those showers part of that system I was telling you about going up the coast not being an issue for us but it's really just touching the edges of our region. Two different cloud cover forecasts though for portions around the thruway nice and clear as you head to the southern tier dealing with some cloud cover and that's why you're seeing those lower temperatures in the southern tier. I noticed when I was outside today I could smell those hot dogs and hamburgers so this is what your grilling forecast is looking like for your tomorrow. No rain in the forecast. Luckily, those clouds are stubborn and slow to clear, but as you head into tomorrow morning, sunshine, abundant sunshine for everybody. It's going to allow those temperatures to finally hit around the normal mark for some of the folks. We'll see some high cirrus clouds coming in in the afternoon. In the evening, things clear up for us again. Some more cloud cover on the way because on Tuesday, it's a totally different day. Cloudy day on Tuesday, threat of some showers as you head into the afternoon. There it is around Wellsville, a few showers here or there. Tonight, it is going to be cold. We've got mainly clear skies, mid 40s. But as you head further south, you're seeing those temperatures in the 30s. That's why we're seeing that frost advisory. As you head into tomorrow, your uh, Memorial Day is looking quiet. You'll see sunshine and those temperatures. You'll see those temperatures starting off in the 50s and then making their way into the mid to upper 60s. Do not be surprised if you see some 70s in there. Going into your Tuesday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies with those temperatures finally in the normal range. Some showers for you on Wednesday and you'll notice as we head throughout that seven day, those temperatures are on the gradual increase. Look at how they soar into the weekend. We're going from spring back into summer in the seven day.